Hi, I'm Kingsley Nwosu, Product Manager here at Agile Assets. We are very excited about the new version 7.2 of the Agile Assets Asset Management System. And we can't wait for you to get your hands on it. In this session, I will share with you the new capabilities that this version introduces. Starting with the Work Manager mobile app. The app is a companion to the Agile Assets Maintenance Management System. Next, we've built in Esri's ArcGIS Enterprise, formerly known as ArcGIS Server. This integration powers the ability to edit the location of features on a map via our Maps interface, GIS Explorer. We also made additional enhancements to GIS Explorer, building on the functional and usability improvements introduced with version 7.1. We changed the name of our cross-asset portfolio optimization product from trade-off analyst to portfolio analyst. We also updated the graph reports and enhanced some of the functionality of the windows in that product. Finally, we made a series of optimizations that improved the performance of the system and fixed quite a few bugs. This version also supports the recently released Esri Rosen Highways version 10.5. The Work Manager mobile app was designed and built for DOT work crews so that they can record work that they've performed in the field where and when the work is done. This reduces errors and improves the accuracy of reported work information and reporting or analysis that depends on that information. The app supports Android, iOS, and Windows 10 and the devices that are on those platforms. It works completely offline except to sync updates and requires version 7.2. On the home screen of the application is a list of work orders and a visual representation of work orders with location on the map. You can interact either via the map or the list to select a work order. After selecting a work order, it will bring you to the summary screen where you can either add a new location or delete an existing one. You can view the details of a work order such as the specified work date, activities to be performed, and any notes that have been specified in that work order. You can create day cards for work crew members, any equipment that was used to perform work, materials utilized, as well as costs and accomplishments. When satisfied with information specified, the crew lead or any designated personnel in the crew can then sync the app when in an area with wireless connectivity. This integration gives agencies the ability to easily create and publish services based on the asset data, such as for asset inventory, work management, or inspections. As long as these data that's in the asset management database has locations, these services can be published. These services can be made editable and utilized as a basis for enabling and setting up Esri's Collector or Survey123 Field Data Collection app. These services also allow an agency to easily democratize information across an agency or out of it as appropriate, reducing or eliminating information access bottlenecks. We've enhanced the application's maps interface, GIX Explorer, to support editing of the location of points and linear features, which are essentially proxies for assets directly on the map, as well as updates to the attributes of these features. Here you've got a map of support structures carrying signs, light, traffic, or an assembly with multiple functions. Presume that the structure carrying a light uh, as highlighted and selected on the map uh, or to be at the intersection of Route 93 and Route 25, which is intersection right here on the map, and should be associated with 93. You can select and move that structure to the new location. As you can see, that dot has moved and is now at that intersection. You can then specify the new route that the feature ought to be associated with in the route name box. You simply type in the new route information and, and then select it. 
and that will update the record. Next, you can update the attribute. So if this really ought to be carrying a traffic signal, you can then specify that information in the attribute for, for that, and that information will be updated. So you can see here, the styling has been updated to now account that that structure is carrying, carrying a traffic signal, as evidenced by the styling for that point changing to green. You can undo or redo either the location update or an attribute update with a single click by selecting the undo or redo button. There is no need to retrace your steps manually. Selecting this action will automatically reset the location back to its previous position or the attribute edit that you just made. Similar to point features, here you've got a map showing the work plan for pavement sections. You can move the point, the beginning or the end mile point for a selected linear feature. When you select a section, the map zooms in such that both vertices are then viewable on the map. You can select the beginning mile point and drag it to the new location where it ought to be as well as select the end mile point to the new location and clicking away from this will commit the edit that you've just made. You can also edit the attribute of the linear feature and just like point features you can undo and redo either the location edit or the attribute edit. We built on the improvement started in version 7.1 by enhancing the maps and layers catalog to give GIS admins the ability to cut, copy or paste items so the catalog can be better managed. This supports cutting or copying the contents of a folder or a specific layer or map and pasting those items elsewhere in the catalog. We updated map labels to include the ability to define a specific font, font size, color, or style of labels displayed on the map. This gives an agency more control on the appearance of maps if a specific color theme or map style are being utilized in that agency. We also added the ability to export a map layer as a shapefile. The data stored in the shapefile can be transformed to a new coordinate reference system or retain the default coordinate reference system of the application. This allows agencies to get data that need to be stored or consumed in a different coordinate reference system, perhaps that agency's default. The big picture window in portfolio analysis has been enhanced to give the user full control and to tailor it to their needs. Users can add or update or remove graph reports that are displayed on the window. This allows agencies to create a window with reports consumed at the central office different from the same window with reports consumed at the district office, thus allowing the agency to tailor the needs specific to uh, an office that's using, utilizing this window. We've also added a variety of new graph reports for summarizing the results of an executed analysis. These new reports also allow a user to configure the drill-in or out chain so that the reports are more intuitive to navigate based on that user's needs. The additional improvements in the application include support for Roads and Highways 10.5, which was recently released by Esri, as well as util usability improvements that we've made throughout the application addition in addition to the usability improvements from the new features added, uh, such as reducing the height of rows in the data window so that more result rows are displayed. We've also made system, system performance improvements, as well as numerous bug fixes that are in the release. Thank you so much for paying attention, and we hope you are excited as we are about the new release. Cheers.